Hello and welcome to DT Briefly for Wednesday, April 8th, 2015. I'm Michael Cantu, staff writer for the Daily Toreador. Here are today's top headlines. Students do not always come to college with financial knowledge. Texas Tech has several resources and programs established to help these students handle money. Introduced to the Texas Tech campus in 2010, the QPR program trained more than 3,000 students, faculty and staff in suicide prevention. QPR trainees are certified as QPR gatekeepers and learn how to intervene and get help for someone in a suicidal crisis. Mm -hmm. Dr. Clint Hobb, a licensed psychologist at the Tech Student Counseling Center, said, A degree from Texas Tech can lead to a variety of career paths, and some students use their degrees to pursue less traditional paths. Benjamin Jarvis, a Tech alumnus with a Bachelor's of Arts in Media Strategies from McKinney, started the Humans of Lubbock website last year and it is increasing in popularity in the past few months. A tech professor and a team of researchers have visited the parts of Louisiana to study the impacts of the 2010 BP oil spill on the environment. With numerous scientists from around the country putting together proposals to conduct their own research of the cleanup efforts and spill, Carr, along with her husband James Carr and Ernest Smith, put together a proposal that would allow them to collect samples of the area. After nearly three months of waiting, senior Texas Tech golfer Matthias Dominguez will begin playing in the Masters Tournament Thursday in Augusta, Georgia. In his journey to tournament, Dominguez reached landmarks both on the collegiate and national scale. Texas Tech sophomore jumper Peyton Revel was a dancer growing up. When approached in middle school about competing for her schools in the triple jump, she almost turned them down. Revel has since stopped dancing, but she is still competing in the triple jump, where she is currently ranked number 49 in the nation. For full stories, pick up a copy of The Daily Torridor or visit thedailytorridor.com. For DT Briefly, I'm Michael Cantu.